Um, our next contestant is Bert Pibboin. Pibboin, I'm sorry. I, 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 he's been coming here longer than I have. I've never seen this, a pun off without Bert, and I still mispronounce his name. I apologize, but you're still Bert to us all. Man once had a large collection of baseball cards amassed over 15 years during his youth. When he was a kid, he loved to brag about those cards every time he got one of the great stars of the day. He also liked that gum, that stale gum that came in each package. He would put a wad of it in his mouth and walk around like one of his baseball heroes. He almost choked to death on that wad of gum one time while playing second base in a little league game and trying to imitate one of his heroes. As an adult, he's still obsessed over his cards. He had a collection that every time when he had friends over for dinner, he brought it out and talked about it at length. At bars and, and coffee shops, he, would had, he had cards with him and showed them all to friends. Never missed a time doing that. Finally, his friends found a way to tell him they were not coming to dinner and that when they started when he started talking about his cards at a bar or coffee shop, they found a way to leave. Finally, his best friend told him that his obsession with the cards was causing him to lose all of his friends. So he decided he had to get rid of them. He needed to get them out of his life, and he put them on eBay. And pretty soon he had offers. He sold the entire collection. He had lots of money. He said, I can live without these. I'm happy. But pretty soon he began missing his favorite cards, those mantles, Clementes and Mays. He wanted his cards back. He began crying very deeply about them. And he remembered that wad of gum that he almost choked to death on. Like that wad of gum, in selling all of his cards on eBay, he had bid off more than he could eschew. And eschew is not a word to avoid. It's not a word to sneeze at. <laughs> 